I know you. I know you so well. Grab it. You will. You will ease your yourself away from me, and I won't let you. <laughs> and I want to say to you too. I. You need to give your heart on the show, and I'm not here to force it. You. You have. You feel so much, but you kid around, and I don't want you to hide because. The things you feel are what people feel, but they need, they need to see the other side of you. Because they think you're funny, but you're not just that. I know you, you're my friend. Every heartbreak. I've been in front of you falling apart. <coughs> and uh, I don't think I've ever had a friend like you in my life, in my life. And I'm so scared that that will shake me. Not that we don't have radio to keep us together even when we don't want to be together because we're fighting. The radio always brought us together. It's true. Radio always made sure that we held our hands, we went through and faced the world and the world hated us. And the world loved us when they ignored us. We were, we were there for each other. And I, I, I'm so scared that we will not be my friend anymore. I'm not as close as we have become. So, I will bug you. <laughs> and I will make sure that Cooper will bug you so that you cannot get away from us. And it's true that um, when we fight, like a lot of the time, the only thing that will make us talk to each other again is because we have to do the show. And it's really like that's what a lot of people don't realize. And you don't hear the fights in here, the real. The real, not funny fights, uh -huh. yeah. But uh, that is really like the thing that snaps us out of it. And um, it's really the show. Uh, last key to the listener. Mm. Oh. I don't know what I did to deserve this kind of love from you guys. I I don't know you, the kindness you have shown me um, when I first announced that I was pregnant with Cooper yes. and, you know, they were scary. Instead of judgment, I was so surprised that people were so accepting and so supportive. It was so wild. I thought that people would say, you know, they will judge you because of, you know, it's not, it's not a nice thing to happen to a girl. And you accepted me, you supported me, you like my child. How, how is that possible? And then I went through a very difficult time with my second baby and you have no idea how many people reached out to me. And just hearing it, just knowing that people are sending kindness towards you, and you don't know them. How is that possible that I, I am here, and even now that I'm saying goodbye for a week, people have been sending me messages. Hey, Agabai, Jedi Master, Maui, uh, so many on, on the Facebook page of The Morning Rush, on Twitter. I am such a lucky girl to have had this great thing so long, so I would like to thank you so much. I could never, wala walang words na na wedding other than thank you. And uh, I hope that I can be with you again in some form or another. But know that if you ever need me, I'm just one tweet away, and I am not beyond. Uh, if you need me to talk, actually, one rusher came to my house. <laughs> so, advice and uh, we, we had coffee. So, uh, thank you to everybody from the bottom of my heart, to all the guests that we've had. Uh, wow, wow, grateful. Thank you very much. Please take care of, of the morning rush <laughs> to the listeners. Uh, make sure these two, will, they will not say yet, but they will need your support on Monday. And then the more support you give them, less and less they will need it, and then they'll be back and maybe not miss me. <laughs> Do you guys have anything to tell me before I go? I will first, um, just because it's been that long. Um, I was talking to my dad last night. You know about lunch, about everything, and he was telling me he's like, I'm sad. I I listened to them. Like how could like you must be so sad? He was asking how I felt, and and it's so true that I, you know, this 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 wonderful thing that you know that you guys do. I never.
never knew that I could be a part of it, even for a bit. Because I was, okay, just for everybody tuned in, I was a listener growing up. I was a, I was a radio girl. And to be able to to just experience it, I, I there are a lot of times on the show I space out and I'm just like, I can't believe I'm on the show with Chico or Gina, not so much, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And there was one day we did the show together because Gino wasn't here and I was shaking and there's just a presence that you guys have and I can't explain it and it, I consider it such a privilege and a blessing because I I never take anything for granted when it comes to like work wise but just outside of work you guys are such wonderful people like in the in the year that I've known you guys it's like you already know everything that I've been through and accepted me and I just felt like bond with you there. I just I can't, I can't we, we, we explain We both it. can't explain. I can't explain. I don't know if it's because we like, we're, we're both pastors kids. It's crazy that we're born. Born in the same month? October 14th and October 16th. And it's like, that's so weird. But like every time she says something, I, I just under, yeah. I understand what she means. And then she keeps saying that it's like I'm looking at the younger, you know, it's, and even Chico told me one time, like, it's kind of like your dad, like, a couple of years ago, and I was just like, <laughs> really? And then, I don't know, and it just, I'm so thankful, so, so, so thankful that I got to at least grasp a bit of right before you left, because this, I think that you're irreplaceable. There is no one like you, Dad. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> um, I don't even know where to begin. A uh, couple of when you had announced it on Friday, uh, one of the former Irish docs had a status message about it. Then I started to realize that most of the ridiculously strong, independent, and and amazing women that I know actually came from our ex and I grew up with two older brothers I never had sisters and um <laughs> <laughs> deal with it <laughs> and you know in 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 my time here in our I've been lucky enough to, to to be to be introduced to to the closest thing that I could get to having you know, older sisters in my life, and... Like, I'm older! <laughs> <laughs> it has to be said, it has to be said. No, but, you know, I, I, I make fun of your, your age, both of you all the time, but but when I say older sister, it's not it's not to make fun of your age, it's more of like, because I learned so much from you guys, and in terms of not just work, because I think it's pretty given, Amanda, that I learned a lot from you guys in terms of that, in terms of being professional because we know I'm not very professional. <laughs> um, but just in terms of being a good human being, um, I learned a lot from both of you in terms of in just just how to be a, a decent human being. I don't let you guys know this enough, but you guys are two of the nicest. Two, kayong two lang nicest. You guys are two of the nicest people, if not the nicest people I know in radio. And I know I know that like I you know you live so far away, eh, so I don't oh, think oh, oh, Honestly don't think I'll get to see you. Kinda of man and, and but you know how I get awkward around kids and you know, hopefully in the future, maybe when I have kids of my own, I won't yeah. get out of the door. I'll know how to... Man, you're letting me open up on air! I don't like it! <laughs> um, but you... you in, in, in way more than just work, you have transcended into one of the closest friends I have. I don't like saying it because you know I don't like dealing with emotions. I do, I do. I don't like having to voice them out either because I just don't like the way it feels, but man, this is your last day on air and then it's, it's gonna, I don't know, I won't. <laughs> um, I'm sure my mom is making fun of me now. <laughs> emotions are a sign of weakness. But I just want to thank you for, 
for one, um, not giving me a hard time when I joined you know, one of the most established shows out there. Um, two, for, for you know, being accepting. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy at all considering like you guys were doing a show for 15 years and all. Yeah. You know, in comes this ridiculously good looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, try to steal your man. <laughs> no, but uh, just, yeah. I, I, I'm a hundred percent sure it wasn't easy for you to, to sort of adjust to having another person there. But I just wanted to thank you for that, and it's it's a sad day. It is, but I also know why why it's not sad because I know that this is really what you wanted, and I'm sure that. You know, more than the amount of laughter that this show brings you, there's a certain level of of happiness that can never be achieved by being here. And what you're gonna be doing next is that one thing that will give you just that. And so I wish you all the best. And again, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, for me, um, I think it's really like we're saying goodbye to one aspect of, of our relationship. Nice. Yeah. You know, it's 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 the on air. Um, that's why I try not to say goodbye because, unlike what you said, uh, I don't have plans of disappearing. And, uh, <laughs> that's why I guess it's you know a lot of people like are probably one day, <coughs> parang, you know, people are falling apart. And they're saying, you know, there's nobody who will probably be more affected than I am. But I guess I am very comfortable with the idea 